Is the bolt broken? What's going on? Okay, yeah, so I can't charge. I can't activate. I cannot activate the charger. Morning, everyone. Hello, welcome to the French Connection, and I'm Victorian. You joined me in my garage this morning uh, for a Salmon Arm Challenge. As you can see, with that uh, Bolt EV, that's a cute little car. So, we're going to be doing the 1000 kilometers uh, to Salmon Arm and back here in Cochrane, Alberta. The car is a 2023 uh, Bolt EV. Uh, it's all warmed up inside, it's still plugged, so it's at 100% uh, state of charge. The tires have been checked, they're at uh, 260 uh, kPa, uh, anyway, it's 38 psi, uh, but it's interesting, it's uh, retaining a kPa inside. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we're all good. We're gonna take a look at the plan. There is no really route planner inside, I think there is like Chevrolet maps, but you need to have a subscription or something, so I'll just use uh, ABRP uh, like I always do and my brain like I should always do, but I don't. Okay, let's get inside. Okay, so we have the plan here. Uh, the first stop, I agree. A total, we have four stops, but the problem is it says I need to charge to 80% here in Revelstoke and here 86% in Golden. And as we know, the Bolt uh, charging curve is really poor. It charges on basically only to 55 kilowatt up to 60, 65% and then it tapers down pretty quick. Uh, and it ends up at like, I think at 70%, 75, it's gonna be like 25 kilowatts, so no. I don't want to charge above 65%. So I'll charge up to 60, 65% in Revelstoke, charge to Salmon Arm, and then uh, this one is okay. And here I'll charge to 65% and charge to Canmore before heading for home. Before we hit the road, I just want to show you the car is at 100%. Battery level displayed. Uh, that's the state of charge row. I don't know why there is three of them, but what it means is that there is a buffer. Like every manufacturer, Chevrolet is keeping a buffer. It's telling you, oh, okay, the battery is at 100%, but in reality, you know, it's not, which makes sense. Uh, and here, that's interesting on the bolt, that's the state of charge here, the green bars. So that's why I'm pretty happy I have car scanner to have an actual numbers, it makes it easier. Okay, I think now we're good. Uh, let's unplug. And let's go. We reached the point where that's kicking horse pass, the famous kicking horse pass regeneration test. So we started with 31.0. Uh, so as you can see, we already recovered 0 0.1 during the descent, which we just started. And uh, we are regenerating at uh, 10 kilowatt. Well, actually, this is also written on the screen here. Four, five, six kilowatt of regeneration. And we'll see how much we recovered during the descent. Still in the descent, and as you can see, still recovering energy. But that's almost the end of it. At the bridge right here, that's where usually the regeneration is gonna stop. We're still at 15 kilowatts. Still regenerating, yep, and that's gonna stop pretty much right now. Actually still, yeah, there you go, eight, three, and now we're using power. So we are at 30.1, so that's uh, 0 0.9, I think, that we recovered, yep. So that's pretty much like the Model Y, and very close to the, to the Mach-E. 
All right. All right, we are 30 kilometers from Golden, which could be our first charging stop. The state of charge is 48%, at least the displayed state of charge, as you can see here. The range remaining, well, on the gasometer says 205 kilometers. And uh, if I look here, I'm just gonna set Google map. Uh, Google map is set for Revelstoke, 178 for Revelstoke. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. Uh, like I have 25 kilometers of uh, buffer. So because if I stop in Golden, so yeah, in uh, less than 30 kilometers now, if I stop in Golden anyway, I'm gonna be arriving with like 40% state of charge. So it's like, yeah, I kind of suck. I really don't see any reason to stop. So yeah, I think I'll try uh, to go to Revelstoke. in Golden and yeah I'm gonna to continue to Revelstock I'm not gonna charge here I still have 185 kilometers of range and the station in Revelstock is at less than 150 kilometers now so uh, that's where I would have charged probably if I had stayed here electrify Canada over there but uh, yeah with the conception I have, actually, actually, look, since I left, it's like 15.5 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. Let me double check here. 15.2 since I left home this morning. And I still have 42% of state of charge, like the displayed state of charge. I even have a buffer. So, yeah, I'll... Uh, take a chance here maybe but I'll uh, keep going to Revelstoke and I mean you know worst case I'll just slow down a bit but I think I should be fine let's try okay let's talk strategy a bit when I was in uh, Golden I had 42% state of charge and I made some calculations and it seems that this battery is 64 kilowatt hour usable and that matches what I've seen on uh, Ball TV forums. So 42% of 64 kilowatt hour, that's 26.88 kilowatt hour. <laughs> okay, I just did the calculations on my phone. Uh, so 20 or basically 27 kilowatt hour and with my current conception which is just below 15 kilowatt hour per hundred kilometers that's plenty of juice to do the 150 kilometers between Golden and Revelstoke you're still following good so yeah I think uh, it'll be fine it might be scary a bit as we're climbing up the mountain because we'll see the gasometer and the state of charge decrease really fast so at one point it might dip below the actual distance remaining to go to the charger. So I'll show you that if it happens. Uh, but then we know that we're gonna recover energy during the descent, so it'll be fine. Here the gasometer indicates that we have 82 kilometers of range remaining for 71 kilometers to the charger. So that's a bit less of a buffer to go to the charger because we're climbing. We're uh, now at uh, 1300 meters, uh, but uh, we are almost at the top and then we're gonna go back down and recover some energy. So we'll be arriving in Revelstoke with probably, I would say 30 kilometers of, uh, of range remaining, something like that. Let's take a look at the uh, conception numbers since we left. So we used 51 kilowatt hour and the conception went up a bit, which makes sense. So we're at 15.4 uh, uh, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. But uh, no, all good. Okay, it's even closer now. 75 kilometers of range for 71 kilometers to the charger. Getting interesting, but here we are. 
we're starting the descent, so now they're just going to get further apart from each other. We're going to have more range remaining uh, compared to the distance to the charger, more and more. So that's good. All right, so the battery state of charge just switched to orange. I think it happened when I, uh, we, we dipped below 15% state of charge. So right now we are at 13.3. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, all good. We have 56 kilometers of range remaining, at least on the gasometer. And uh, we need half of that to reach the charger. So plenty of juice. And we arrived at the charger in Revelstoke with six point, well, anyway, almost 7% state of charge. 29 kilometers of range remaining. So yeah, we made it. Let's take a look at the numbers here, the consumption number. We used almost 60 kilowatt hours and we've driven almost 400 kilometers. So the first leg really was uh, pretty impressed by the bolt on the first leg. Uh, that's pretty good. And now it's gonna be the painful part, charging the bolt. Okay, let's plug it. Okay, it took forever to get going, but uh, we're charging 50 kilowatts, and that's gonna take a while. So the battery is at 23 degrees. That's gonna be interesting to see what's, uh, what is the battery temperature doing. It's gonna increase, obviously, but uh, 328 volts, 150 amp for the current. So I think as the voltage is increasing, we'll take uh, a bit more juice actually. We'll probably reach the peak of 55 kilowatts soon. So yeah. Okay, I said, I think my phone bugged, but uh, yeah, I was mentioning I'll wait until it tapers down here uh, from 55 kilowatt and then I'll start driving towards uh, Salmon Arm. What I'm thinking is Salmon Arm is just a hundred kilometers away. And it says here I have 245 kilometers of range. So, I think the best uh, option for me is, uh, is just to charge here to 60% to make sure I can do the round trip to Salmon Arm and back here and charge again. Uh, that's gonna save me one charge in Salmon Arm where I would not charge really faster anyway if I go now. So I'll do that 60%, I'll unplug and we'll hit the road. Forty-two minutes, thirty-seven kilowatt hour taken. Stop. There you go. Those uh, screens are so slow. All right, off we go. Fifty kilometers from Salmon Arm. State of charge forty nine percent. Gasometer says we can still drive another two hundred and eleven kilometers, so shouldn't be a concern for the round trip from uh, Revelstoke to Salmon Arm and back to Revelstoke, where we will charge again. Temperature is now twenty degrees, so that's perfect weather for an EV road trip right now. So quick turnaround in Salmon Arm. We reached Salmon Arm with a state of charge of 37%. We are now at 35% with 92 kilometers to the Electrify Canada station in Revelstoke and a gasometer that indicates a range of 150 kilometers. So plenty of juice, shouldn't be any concern here the range. And uh, good decision, I think, to stay there in Revelstoke to charge to 60%. Even if, you know, the charge was slowing down a bit, we were pretty much, we were pretty close to the max charging speed anyway. So, you know, it wouldn't have made sense to stop the charge there, 
to charge again in Salmon Arm for like 10% and then charge in Revelstock. Or, so, you know, yeah, I think it, it was a good decision. And I'll probably do the same in Revelstock, stay there to up to 60%. And then we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes and might have to stop in Golden, I think. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, so I'll talk to you in a bit. stopped just like two kilometers from the charger construction so yeah I'll remove the time I've been stuck here from the total time obviously to make it fair for the bolt here we are pulling in at the charger let's charge this one works well that's the one I used before so I'm gonna use this one again Okie dokie, so we arrived with 13% state of charge, so plenty of juice. Let's charge and we'll see when we stop the charging and when we go to Golden. Ah, freaking flap. All right, and I'll start the charging on my app. This car only takes 146 amps. And because the voltage of the battery pack is a bit low, we're just gonna have like 50 kilowatt, probably 51. And then it's gonna increase to 53, 55 on the charger, but we'll only have like 53 here. That's what I noticed. And uh, eventually it's going to taper down below 50 kilowatt when we'll reach, it looks like 60, well, 55%. And uh, we'll probably leave and uh, direction golden. Okay. Look at that. The mighty bolt charging at 53 kilowatt. Oh yeah. At least you have time to enjoy the scenery. Could almost go for a hike. Oh no, 51 kilowatt. Oh, 40%. All right, so we are at 57% and the speed is at 50 kilowatt now. So. Now it's going down, I'll uh, unplug. We have plenty of juice and we'll be driving towards Golden now. So stop the charge. Yes. Let's see. There you go. Let's unplug and we'll hit the road. Join me at 63 kilometers from the next charging stop in Golden. And we still have 118 kilometers on the gasometer. State of charge is 31%. It looks like we should be arriving there with uh, 13, 14%. And then we'll charge, uh, we'll use the same technique, I think, uh, because of the flat curve up to 60%. We'll just charge up to 60%. And uh, I think we'll still need to stop uh, to charge in Canmore, but that's going to be a really quick charging stop in Canmore, but like maybe 10-15 minutes. So I would say another half an hour of charging in Golden, 10-15 minutes in Canmore, and uh, that'll be it for today. We are pulling in at the on the run charging station and hopefully the batteries are full or not depleted at least because those charger are battery powered. 
All right. Park. I'm going to use the app to activate Charger 2. Plug in your vehicle. Let's do that. Start charging. And we are at 17% state of charge. We arrived with 70 kilometers remaining on the gasometer. So, all right. Well, I'm going to be charging up to, yeah, 60%. Uh, doesn't make sense to leave before that if we have a good charge. Plus, it's free here at the underground charging station. So, I might, uh, yeah, I'll stay up to 60% and then we'll be on our way for Canmore. Let's talk quickly about the uh, Boost Charger 150. That's the name of the charger. Uh, it's built by FreeWire. They have a 160 kilowatt hour battery that is charged at uh, 27 kilowatt or less. I, I guess it depends on the place. So they charge the battery and then the battery gives you the juice so that you can fast charge your car. So they're rated for 150 kilowatt and you have two connectors, two CCS connectors on this specific model. Uh, and if a car is plugged, like I'm plugged right now, it says that the other CCS connector can only charge up to 75 kilowatts. So they share the power, right? 150 kilowatt max, but they share the power. Uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty smart, I think. And look at that. It is free. Okay, bought myself some snack, jerky, 100% Canadian beef. Jerky. Uh, this one is made in the US. That's okay. Okay, we're at uh, 56% and it's starting to slow down. It's still good, 50 kilowatt, but it's going to keep slowing down. So I wanted to go in Canmore initially. Uh, that's where we are in Golden. Uh, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll uh, drive 100 and what? It's 150 kilometers, 170 to Canmore here uh, to charge. But then I remembered that, uh, you know, with the range I have right now, I'm just going to drive and keep pushing to Canana Skis to the travel center here because they just opened an on the run charging station and those are the same charger than those one as you can see on the run so yeah it's gonna be free so i'll go there google map hundred and well 200 kilometers i have 238 kilometers of range so i'm gonna unplug and uh, i'm gonna hit the road and we stayed 30 minutes, took 26.88 kilowatt hour. It cost us zero dollar. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hmm. That's good. Wait, that's the American jerky. the heck American jerky is better than the Canadian all right we are halfway through the second to last leg. So from Golden to Kananaskis and the, okay, let's take a look at how long we have. We have hundred kilometers to go, 105, and the remaining, the range remaining on the gasometer is 111. So that's pretty close, but uh, it's kind of downhill now all the way to the charger. So I'm sure the, the gap is just going to keep increasing, so that shouldn't be a concern. And we are at 30% uh, state of charge. The average consumption since we left home this morning is at 16.1 uh, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. I think I made a mistake because we are 
Okay, 22 kilometers to the charger, and we have uh, 58 kilometers of range remaining. But my house, uh, bear with me one second, my house is 70 kilometers away. <laughs> so I definitely should have charged like five minutes more at the previous charger, and I could have made it in three charging stops. Uh, but that's fine. You know what? This, uh, this charger, it's on the good side of the highway. It's just off the highway. So I'm going to pull out of the highway, plug in, charge for like five minutes, unplug, and I'll be on my way. All right. Here we are. Last charging stop. <sighs> okay. Park. My phone. Charge EV, this is this one, plug, this is plugged, start charging, oh come on, oh man, <laughs> and I could have just waited five minutes over there, okay stop charging. I don't know why it doesn't initiate. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna try the other one. Uh, and I said, what did I say? It would take two minutes? Uh, that's not good. Charge door open, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know why it's... Uh, I've used those charger a lot. Not on the video, but on my personal like trip. So I have no idea why it won't charge. Plug-in vehicle. Okay, that's plugged. Something went wrong. Yeah, I know. Charge EV. So they're on the app. Charge EV. Let's start charging. Okay, yeah, so I can't charge. I can't activate. I cannot activate the charger. So why you tell me they're on if I can't activate them? Well, there is one last solution. Can you believe that? The two, uh, I was praising those charger and I never had a problem with them. So I'm lucky enough that there is one flow charger uh, that hopefully is gonna work because otherwise I'm fucked. Initiate charging. So I guess I need to plug first. Let's see, am I gonna have to sleep here? Initiating charging. Oh, that's good. I heard the connection between the car and, you know, they're talking to each other. Vehicle not charging. Is the bolt broken? What's going on? Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's charging. Whew. Okay, here we are. All right. So, yeah, the problem with those flow chargers is they're a bit slow. They're rated at 50 kilowatt, but... The max current they can give you is 125. So with a low voltage, uh, I'm not gonna have uh, 50 kilowatt. See, I'm at 40 kilowatt. Uh, that'll do. I'm really uh, disappointed. I don't get why I couldn't charge with the um, the free wire chargers over there because it says on the app they're available. Okay, we have 82 kilometers of range on the gum. I need 60 kilometers to go home. So 20% state of charge, uh, I will stop the charge and uh, let's go home. We took nine kilowatt hour and we stayed here, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'll look at the numbers later. All right. Let's get rolling. One last stretch and I'll be home.
we're home. 6% state of charge, 25 kilometers remaining on the gasometer. So here we are, pulling in, in my garage. As usual, I will look at the numbers and uh, I'll do a conclusion. All right, see you later. All right, so let's talk numbers. I don't know about you, but uh, I would watch those videos just for the landscapes. Boy, the Canadian Rockies uh, are gorgeous. Uh, I wouldn't watch the video just for me, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so go back to the numbers, sorry. 2023 Bolt EV did the trip in 12 hours and 40 minutes, so that's better than what I expected. Um, I don't know, maybe a bit less traffic, uh, I don't know, but it's actually not bad, despite the fact that we spend a lot of time charging, we'll talk about that later. Total energy used, 157.3 kilowatt hour, so that's yeah, the number makes sense here because we know that the Model Y, I mean, like every Tesla, is super efficient. So, and when you look at the number, we only used 155 kilowatt hour with the Tesla and the conditions were not as good as for uh, the trip with the Bolt TV. So it's a bigger car, but it used less energy. That goes to show that it's such an efficient car, the, the Tesla Model Y. Talking about the conditions, mostly sunny, uh, when I did the trip with the Bolt EV, some rain, as you've seen on the video, but it lasted for like five minutes, so not a big deal. Calm winds, like usual in the mountains, 10 to 23 degrees Celsius, I would say ideal conditions here for the Bolt EV. Charging, and yeah, we spent two hours and one minute charging. So when you look at the number, uh, two hours for the charging, so it's one hour more than the other cars, but uh, we arrived just half an hour after the Tesla. Oh, we needed just half an hour more to do the trip. But yeah, that's because the Tesla, I decided to stop six times to take advantage of the charging curve of the Tesla, which is extremely good in the low state of charge. So I'm like, okay, I'll tr road trip the Tesla between I think I did it between 5% to 50% because that's where you get the peak at 170 kilowatt and you have the good charging curve. So I stopped more and I think that's where the Tesla lost a bit of time, you know, going to the charger and back to the highway. So I think that explains why despite staying one hour longer at the charger, overall with the Bolt, we arrived just half an hour after the Model Y, if I can say that. Energy added. 103.4 kilowatt hour in the Bolt. Uh, yeah, that's on par with the other car here. Uh, yeah, good. Highway consumption, 110 to 120 kilometers an hour. 17.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer. So slightly more than the Tesla. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again, but the Tesla is so efficient. I mean, the Model Y had worse condition than the Bolt EV. It's a bigger car and the consumption at that speed was better, but uh, I, that's because the coefficient of drag on the Teslas are so good, so it makes such a big difference at high speed, uh, if we can call that high speed. But you see, when we uh, look at the number for 90 to 100 kilometers an hour, uh, then uh, it's better for the other cars, and the Bolt TV had uh, used 14.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. You can note here that I changed the number for the, the Mach-E. I made a mistake. On the previous videos, if you look, it was 12.9, I think, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers, because that was the conception uh, at, on the section of the highway where I drove at that speed, but that was the conception on the way back uh, between, between Field in BC and Canmore. So that's downhill, and I used only the number on the way back. I forgot to use the to use the average, so that's why it was that low, and it didn't make sense. So I corrected it. It's 14.1 for the for the Mustang, 14.3 for the um, Ball TV. So, you know, not that great for uh, for such a small car. I think at that speed. Uh, yeah. Then the okay, yeah, yeah, the, the regeneration test. It's still there for for now. 
uh, <laughs> kicking horsepower regeneration, same as the Model Y 0 0.9 kilowatt hour. Uh, I don't know, I feel like if all the cars do the same numbers, I'm just gonna remove it. Uh, you let me know in the comment what I should do. Um, all right, there you have it. That's the numbers for the Bolt EV. So I had a blast driving the car, believe it or not. I think it's a great car to drive. It has uh, a lot of uh, torque, you know. You, I looked at the numbers online and it has as much torque as a Golf GTI on a small car like this. It's a, it's a fun car to drive. It's cheap. It's a really good car. It's just a shame that the charging speed is that low. Uh, especially if you take into account the battery size. The Model Y has actually a smaller battery and it charges like, what, four times faster? Or maybe not three times faster? So it doesn't make any sense, but uh, I think the problem is uh, Chevrolet has been uh, scared by all the fires and the recalls they had to do. So they decided to limit the charging speed on the LG battery uh, that equips uh, the Bolt, which I think is a shame. Otherwise, it would be such a great car. It's still a good car, but when you need to road trip, like I think a lot of people do, at least in North America, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and stay tuned. Next week, I will be trying a 2016 Tesla Model X. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to see what's the degradation on that car and uh, how good it's going to perform. Until then, I'm Victorian and you were watching the French Car Connection. See you.